now and after I have been expecting the Lord and worship the Lord and put God first to all we do. I want to remind you that God loves you. God thinks, thinks about you. God protects you. And if God is for us, then who can be against us? Abide in the world of God with all your heart, all your soul, all your mind. And love God with all your heart, all your soul, all your mind. And, and uh, And uh, um, put God first in all you do, as you and I were wonderfully and fearfully made by God. And if you say you love God, you obey His word and keep His commandments. So. You want to talk about. Do not be double-minded, but abide in the truth, which is the word of God. So it's going to be first first Timothy three verse eight to nine says likewise deacons must be reverent, not double tongued, not too much not given too much wine, not greedy for money, holding the mystery of faith with a pure conscience. So, we must be Christ-minded, placing our faith in the Lord and walking by faith and not by sight. And to trust God is to not worry about the life issues or the life obstacles you're going through right now. To reach out to God, you need to give your heart upon the Lord and surrender unto God and put God first and love God all your heart, all your soul, all your mind, and obey the word of God. Walk by faith and not by sight. Live by faith, not by sight. We serve a faithful God who is forever faithful. And with God, all things are possible, but with man, it is impossible. We serve a faithful God who is the greatest, and he is the greatest, and will be the greatest. There's nothing too big for God, so give your cares and concerns to the Lord and abide in the word of God. Please, the Bible.